Hello, I want to introduce my new plugin. It's called uh, Slots for Tabs. And what it does is automatically uh, makes slots. And you have to have a part that has tabs already made. Um, they have to be uh, groups. And uh, thicknesses should be the same. And uh, the tab height should be uh, the same as the, as the thicknesses. And the way you would, um, it defaults to a quarter inch. And if you want to change the default, then um, this line at the very beginning, you can change that value to whatever you want. Okay, that's if, that's if you want to change it permanently. Um, you could also uh, open up the Ruby Council, and you can um, you can change it just by uh, for for the particular session of SketchUp, you can change it by typing it in. Uh, you could also change it to uh, metric by using the period mm method which uh, SketchUp will do the, um, the, the conversion for you. Um, it just, just make sure that the value that you set it for is, is the same as your tab height. I'm going to change it back to a um, quarter of an inch and I'll show you how this works. Uh, we'll put this back together. Uh, so it's got to be set in the position that you want it to. And I thought it would be more eloquent if um, the, the plugin would be able to select which part is which, and you don't have, you wouldn't have to like tell it which which part was which. So that's the way it works. Um, it works from the context menu. Slots for tabs. And it also defaults to the move tool so that um, because I always check by moving the part away and you can see the it puts the slots in there um, to verify that it actually is doing uh, a check to see what I'll do is I'll reverse I'll use this one which now has the slots which is the same as having tabs and I will use it to make slots on the first one that just just shows that it's not has, doesn't have anything to do with, with the, the group order or anything like that so I'll select them both and uh, I'll use all s which is my shortcut and as you can see and it, it makes the slots and oops That was weird. Uh, I don't know what happened there, huh? Okay. So I like to show um, it can intersect uh, openings. That and. Um, it doesn't matter what angle they go and right now I'm going to intersect the edge and show you that that works okay um, the only bug that I've, I've found which is not actually a bug of the plugin but actually a bug of SketchUp I'll show you now is if you if you try and bridge two openings there there's a problem oops i want to work inside it if you if you bridge two openings and this is a, a problem with sketchup Push pull tool. It doesn't it doesn't delete the remaining face on the other side when you when you push pull it through. And all you need to do is, is just you can just delete it manually. And since this is a problem with SketchUp, it also shows up when the plugin. And this this even shows up when you when you bridge to the to the edge.
Okay, and again, you can just you can just delete it. And you might want to check if the other side, because sometimes the other side can, depending on what's going on, you can possibly delete the other side face. And right now it's okay. But that's just an example of one bug that I've noticed. Okay, that's it. Um, uh, slots for tabs. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.